Hey, welcome to Broad Strokes. My name is Robert, and today we're gonna to be doing a painting of a living room and kitchen. This place belongs to my friend Megan and Mike. They're a nice married couple. Megan's like seven months pregnant with, uh, you know, a baby, and uh, uh, I'm sure it's Mike's. So, hey, where have you been? I was getting a coffee. Well, did you get me a coffee? Oh yeah, I just got me one. I should have thought of that. What kind do you All want? Right, I'll fine. go grab it. No, no, no. no I'll grab you a quick I need one. you to get some of the painting stuff done. So. Do you want the last hit of this one? No, that's that's gross. Just. It looks good, of, man. It looks good. Yeah. You feel up to. Where do you get a muffin from? No store. Somebody, the neighbors? Somebody in there cleaning the carpet, but the doors were open. And these were on the table. I just grabbed one. I only took one. Okay, why don't you uh, spackle some of these nail holes? Let me just finish this. Is this all the spackling we have? It is. That's that's enough to do like four or five. Does houses. it expand? Like, no, it doesn't expand. You just don't need very much for the little, they're little nail holes. So how do I know where one of the nail holes are? There'll be a hole. But I don't spackle over this, right? No, that stays there. There's only two choices. There's hole and then there's wall. That's a hole. Yes. Done. <sighs> Robert? Yeah, Glenn? Is that too much? That looks fine. Just put it in the nail hole. Oh, where'd it go? Right inside of it, right? Yeah, yeah. Do you start by it. putting it to the side or the top and then scrape it through or do you just put it right in? Just put it right in. You just... want to do this? No, I, I need you to do this. Oh, man. I got it. So, just, should I take a break? No. Well, no, you've been, you've been doing a lot. Fight, check the other wall. I mean... Which one? Just any one. Just okay. look for... Fill them in. This wall is hole free. So, I did the one hole that was here, and now... I'm gonna go check another wall and see if there's holes. Oh no. That looked like a hole, didn't it? I thought for a minute that maybe that was a hole, but what it really is is a bug that was killed on the wall. I think you got too much spackle. There's, I don't see any other well, holes. Well then maybe move on to doing some taping. Okay. I'm now gonna take what's called painter's tape. And what you do is you tape around the edges. Why do you tape around the edges? So that paint doesn't get on things you don't want to be painted. You tape around the edges so that paint doesn't get on things you don't want paint to get on. This is it, right? Yes. So like the plugs? Yes, yes, all the non-painted areas. You apply painter's tape by pressing it Oh! No! Oh. Well show me how to do it and then I'll do it for the camera. I've showed you a, a hundred times. Well I haven't caught on yet. All right. You don't have to get mad. It's fine. Don't get mad, get even. Painter's tape. That doesn't mean anything. Look, you want to get it right to the the edge, like. You want to get it right to the edge. Look at this. No offense, but. Yeah, no, that's that's okay. That's okay. Well, what if paint gets on the white part? No. Even people that have a lot of experience sometimes need to double check their work. What are you doing? I'm, I'm just. I'm painting a scene. There's three little dicks and they're fighting the big dick, but why would look, you he's do got, this? He's got Wait. Dick Taylor's on. No, look how much no, done. you can't. You can't do that. This is this is going to show up through the other but, layers of paint. No, it won't. It's the same color. It doesn't matter if it's the same color. It dries different. I'm just getting this part done, and it'll be more fun to like fill this in and get those guys. And does he have a sword? Is he fighting? No, it's a banana. They caught him while he was eating. Give me this. Careful, careful. Look, why don't? Why don't you go take a muffin break? Do you want me to move the ladder? No, just 
just go. This actually reminds me of a pretty funny anecdote. Um, I was painting and it was extremely humid and uh, we had to do these closet doors in a semi-gloss, which is kind of unusual. Looks good, man. I can still see the dicks on the wall. I know you can still see the dicks. That's why I, I we told you. We should paint over them. Do you? You can see that it's been painted over. I'm learning. And it's still showing through. This That's is how why we, we learn. don't paint dicks on the wall. Well, this is a show about learning, about painting, and you shouldn't paint dicks on your wall. And if you do, do it in a different color. That's not the lesson. We're just here to paint the wall. We I don't, thought I was helping by paint. getting paint on the wall. You don't help by painting a giant but that dick is a lesson. swinging a banana three smaller dicks. And I thought I was helping because I was getting paint on the wall like you asked me to. You said, get some paint on this wall. And I, I did get paint on the but wall. But I didn't say to get it on in dick shapes. Well, you didn't so, say not to. Well, I shouldn't have to you know clarify. What? I'm going to take a little bit of a break while you get your emotions in check. <laughs>